are on! Uh, could we get one of the writers in here for some more? Hey, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm counting the days until my retirement. 12,947 days. Halfway there. Mmm, I see you're all alone. Try not to be frightened. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Shrunken Head Superstore. We refuse to make a get a little head joke. Oh, I guess we just did. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> All right, we're taking off. Get ready, time to question. One. To get started, here comes the spelunk. So, I just finished decorating my man cave. It's got everything you need. A sweet stereo system, bears, everything. It's literally a cave located three and a half miles from my house in the woods. Which of these songs that I play loudly in my man cave best describes these stalagmites in it? Dancing on the Ceiling by Lionel Richie, Falling by Alicia Keys, On the Floor by Jennifer Lopez featuring Pitbull, or Outside the Wall by Pink Floyd. Now, a stalagmite is a mineral deposit that rises from the floor of a cave created by dripping water. It's great, I can play music as loud as I want in my cave. Until about 11, then the bats start getting annoyed. Open wide for... A trio of distinct musks. If the Three Musketeers bar were made out of the actual Three Musketeers, what would not be an ingredient? Lightly drizzled Athos, a light and fluffy D'Artagnan center, a creamy layer of Porthos, or a decadent outer layer of Aramis? In the Alexander Dumas novel, the Three Musketeers, Athos, Porthos, and Aramis are the Three Musketeers who D'Artagnan meets and befriends. Personally, I prefer Alexander Dumas' other novel, The Count of Monte Twix O. Coming up, Stanky Statues. Because that arm is up all the time, which of the Statue of Liberty's pits could probably use a little extra deodorant? Her left pit, her right pit, both pits, or neither pit? <laughs> left isn't right. <laughs> this would have worked. The Statue of Liberty holds her torch aloft with her right arm. So that smell is not entirely New Jersey. I'm pretty sure she'd use secret deodorant because, as you know, it's strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a giant copper woman. And on its way, all Mario Brothers go to heaven, and it's a sanctimonious dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a song by Marilyn Manson or a Christian video game. If it's a Marilyn Manson song, press the Y button. If it's a Christian video game, press the A button. Cool, let's do it. Spiritual Warfare. Lamb of God. Last Day on Earth. Bible Buffet. Sunday Fun Day! The Fall of Adam! Super Noah's Ark 3D! Hallelujah! You know, Super Mario is a pretty religious game. Every time something bad happens, Mario is born again. It's time for... Welcome to Salzburg. 
If a bag of Czech mix is separated into two compartments, representing the two regions of the Czech Republic, what's in the bag? Slovakian breadsticks and Polish nuts, Serbian chips and Belarusian crackers, Ukrainian cereal and Hungarian bagel chips, or Bohemian pretzels and Moravian rye chips? Time's almost up! Apparently you've never heard of giving it that old college try. This would have been a nice choice. The Czech Republic is made up of the regions of Bohemia and Moravia. Mm. This Czech mix is pretty good, but I can really go for some something sweet right now. Maybe some chocolate. Oh, look! Malta milk balls! <laughs> That'll bring an end to our first round, and you haven't even broken a sweat. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And remember, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Okay, we're bringing it on. Next up, just bend it. Imagine soccer player David Beckham gained the ability to bend light. If a movie were made about it, what might it be called? Reflect it like Beckham, refract it like Beckham, diffuse it like Beckham, or absorb it like Beckham. <laughs> Refraction is when a wave such as light bends when traveling from one medium to another. So it would be called refract it like Beckham. <laughs> Personally, I don't care what he does with lights, as long as it shines onto that gorgeous head of his. Question 7! Why not try... What's my stink line? Hmm, the interns were supposed to deliver some trash, but I don't... Wait, why is that closet door comically bulging like it might burst? We have a picture of a woman with Spider-Man, a bottle of red hair dye, and a book titled How to Sound Like You're from 1950s Mississippi. Who does this trash belong to? Emma Watson, Kirsten Dunst, Lindsay Lohan, or Emma Stone? Emma Stone plays Gwen Stacy in The Amazing Spider-Man, is naturally a blonde who dyes her hair to her trademark color red, and played a young reporter in 1960s Mississippi in The Help. I don't know what it is about this trash. It's cute and sparkly, but I feel like I can get a beer with it and just hang out. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Here we have spinning the periodic turntables. What initials do rapper Clifford Harris and the atomic number 22 on the periodic table share? An L and an L, a J and a Z, an H and a G, or a T and an I? Clifford Harris is better known as the rapper T.I. And atomic number 22 is titanium, chemical symbol T.I. I had a brief career as a rapper named T.M.I. I had a sick flow in the bathroom due to a digestive disorder. T.M.I. This one's called You Are What You Think You're Eating. Which food slogan would not be an example of false advertising? Blood pudding. Find it in the dessert section. Head cheese is the cheesiest. Sweet, let me show you something. Blood pudding and head cheese are actually types of sausages, and sweet bread is the thymus gland of an animal. But camel milk is simply that, milk. And their ad campaign was, got camel milk? No, seriously, do you have it? Because it's hard to find. Next time, use your head. Or better yet, use this shrunken head USB stick from the shrunken head superstore. Tiny heads, big savings. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job.
Let's try flip service. Which organization could use the slogan, Give Us the Bird? The Jane Goodall Institute, the European Cetacean Society, the Sierra Club, or the National Audubon Society? Watch the clock. Uh, nah. Oh, honestly. The National Audubon Society is an environmental group focused on the conservation of birds. Yeah, more birds would be great. My car still has a few areas not completely covered in poop. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And don't ever forget... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. En Espanol, por favor. What's the Spanish version of this name? Good luck. That's the game! If it's the right topic, I can hold a conversation in Spanish. So remember, Spanish speakers, we can chat as long as it's about the lyrics to a Ricky Martin song. You don't know Jack! My name is Jaden Funk, and I want to teach you slam poetry. But talk is cheap, right? Cheap like a toy made in China by kids in sweatshops working 9 to 5 like Dolly Parton. The interruption. But North Korea just dropped a nuclear bomb on us. Just like I dropped a bomb. Mom and Dad, I'm not running the family business. Mom and Dad, I want to be a slam poet artist. To be happy like a megastore smiley face, you have to wear a matching vest just like everybody else. Ding dong, ding dong. Welcome to heaven. The most powerful words to any true-blooded American. So talk isn't cheap, but my class is. $50 for the eight-week session at the Rosewood Adult Learning Center. Hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Tony Pancheesi, owner of DIY Spaghetti Emporium, where DIY stands for do-it-yourself. I mean it. I don't have any staff, so you're doing everything in this restaurant for yourself. And my name isn't Tony Pellucci. You're waiting your own table. You're cooking your own meal. And buddy, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, capiche? So now you think your night's over because your family's done eating, huh? We close at 11.30. So get your ass back out there and wait on that two-top in Section 4. Nobody ducks out early on me, come on, Pedestro. And have you seen the state of those bathrooms? One of the women's toilets has a clog that could choke a horse. So if you're ready for a home-cooked Italian meal and earn half the minimum wage, come on down to DIY Spaghetti Emporium. Ask for me, Rachel Hanrahan.
Piddle Paddle. That's right. Hey, guys, what you playing? Piddle Paddle. Piddle Paddle? Can I play? Sure, just roll the dice. And...